Hey guys, it's May May and welcome to the Stamp Club Reveal. It just got here. <laughs> got here? What is that word? It just got here. And I promised you guys as soon as it got here, we would show it to you. Now, I did take a few minutes to make a few samples because you want to see this one, how it works. Now, just before we get started, I want to let you know if you are a club member, we have nine people today packing your stamp club so that it will go out today. So thank goodness we were only one day late of it going out, but I appreciate your patience. If you'd like to become a stamp club member, the information for that is in the description below. And before we get started, I have a winner to announce from last month's club contest. There'll be one for this one as well. In case you don't watch to the end of the video, sometimes when we do the reveals, there's a club set give um contest. And all you have to do is make a project using the club set and post it to our customer gallery and you're entered to win a $50 gift card. And last month, our winner is Caroline Lamity. And so you will have already been emailed, Caroline. And um, if you haven't been emailed or if you didn't see that email, you can email Amanda at maymaymadeit.com and she will get you your $50 gift card. Okay, enough of that, right? Are you ready to see this? I have to tell you something first. You guys know I am a massive zebra print fan and this stamp set has nothing to do with zebra print. But before that, I was a huge leopard and cheetah print fan. I still am, but it went out of fashion for a while and it's coming back. And I'm so excited because I've wanted this stamp set for so long and we finally made it happen. So check this out. This set is called Layered Leopard. Now, I have to tell you, this is a much more versatile stamp set than you're thinking when you first look at this, because even Mandy and I, who des we designed this together, did not realize how versatile this set was. Not only can you do layered leopard, which I'm going to show you some samples and show you what all you can do with it. You can also use this for cow print. You can use this for cow print, or you can use this for giraffe print. You'd be surprised how much it kind of leans to that when you stamp it by itself. You can also use it as a, a walkway, like a pebbled path. There's, you guys are going to tell me a million things that we can do with it. I already know that. But let me tell you what the sentiments say. And you're probably going to go, well, you didn't do any animal sentiments. I didn't give you animal sentiments on purpose. I wanted to give you sentiments that everybody could use, even if you didn't have like an animal lover in your house or someone that you thought you used, like, you know, like wild about you or what have you. I gave you sentiments everyone can use. Okay. So these sentiments, which I think are great, they say this. This one says, you are so very special to my heart. This one says, I love your smile. This one says, because I, and it's because I love you, because I need you, because I miss you. This one is seven billion smiles and yours is my favorite. And one smile can't change the world, but your smile changes mine. So I wanted to give you sentiments that you could use to make this very Valentine themed if you wanted but it doesn't have to be specific Valentine. I've told you guys before, I don't like to do specific holidays for club sets. So that's why your sentiments can work with this um, stamp, but it can work with all your other stamps in your collection as well. Now, having said that, I dug into some paper packs because I had to do something quick to make some samples for you guys. So me and Mandy made some samples. So let's look at them. I think you're going to love them. This happens to be my very favorite one. I'm going to show it to you first. I normally make you wait. Look how stinking cute this is. So this is the layered leopard here at the bottom. This is done in brown and lime green. And then this paper, this sticker, there's two stickers. This comes from the paper pack called... Um, zoo what's the name of it let me look hold on sorry this one we bought a zoo i wanted to say that but i wasn't sure so this is the paper pack that the stickers came from this sticker says it's a jungle out there and got this little monkey laying up there on that branch too cute right then we did from the paper pack called wild about you is it wild about you yep wild about you i did this one and this layered leopard can you see that shimmer I did it using perfect pearls. So I stamped black and gold, or black actually, not black and gold. I stamped with black. And then I took my emboss it pen and I colored in the circles. So on this one, I didn't even use both layers. I just used one layer. I'll show you. I just used this piece here, okay? I stamped it in black, colored in the centers, and then used perfect pearls to get that gold in the middle. And some of the perfect pearls stuck to my VersaFine, and it looks really, really cool on there. I love the shimmer. Let me get it where you can see it just right. A little bit right there. But the gold shimmers, 
And there we go. See that gold shimmer? Love that. So there's another sample. Then Mandy said she had to do this in black and pink. She wanted to see it done. Classic 80s style, which is coming back, y'all. It's the thing. Look how cute. The cool thing about our layered leopard is that you can use it as one strip, okay, layered on top of each other. But we have made it in such a way that you can stamp it all the way up the card all the way across a 12 by 12 and it will even connect on the ends so you can go as far as you need to go with it. I'm going to show you in a minute how to stamp it. There's some sneaky little ways to use that stamp to make it super easy and it really is the easiest thing in the world. Now when I got it, the first thing I wanted to see was classic cheetah. Look, classic cheetah, black and brown on white. I loved how that one turned out and then Mandy had one more thing she wanted to try and it's not turned into a card yet because she just finished it and look it's all curled up because we haven't even flattened it out. She just ran in here with it. This is embossed with black and gold. Look how cool this is. You're going to be able to use this stamp set for everything. Okay let me show you how it works. So on a piece of card stock, I'm going to use this one right here. Okay, just so we have one. What you're going to do, if you want to do a classic cheetah, and I think I'm going to do the green and brown because I think you'll be able to see it better that way. So let me get my colors real quick. If you've watched cheetah print going around or looked at how um, it's on fashion nowadays everywhere you look, there's so many color combinations that they use, especially if you want to do anything from the 80s or anything like that, you're going to be able to mix this up and do anything you want. Okay, so for my first layer, which is the solid dot, okay, that's the first layer. I'm going to stamp it down. I'm just going to stamp it right here. Stamp it down on the page just as it is using the green. So when I lift this up, you'll see how this could be giraffe or it could be a pebbled path. It could be all kinds of things or just texture on your page, right? Then your second stamp okay your layer that goes on top i'll show you how this works um let me zoom you in a little bit so i want to show you here this little dot right here and this little dot right here are all you need to pay attention to for your layers okay we did this on perfect purpose we kind of pulled these guys out so you could see them okay and when you do your second layer this is mine there's that dot and there's that dot even on my second layer so i'm going to ink this up with the brown this time and here's the cool thing. This is a very natural, organic layer. It does not have to be perfect. It's going to look like cheetah even if you get off fairly significantly. But what you're going to do is you're going to line the little dot here on top of that dot you left underneath, which mine was green, okay? And then I'm just going to stamp this down. That is the only dots I need to pay attention to. I didn't look at anything else, just this one. This one, look how cool that is. I love it. Oh my gosh. So there's that. Now what you'll do when you extend it out, when you keep going, okay, and you can do all your first pattern first and then come back over it with your brown. I'm just showing you so I can show you that it will extend out. Now what you do, it's the same thing. All right, so my two dots are out here, but there's also a dot here and a dot here that will cover them up on this side so you can extend it, okay? So you can keep your pattern going just by following two dots over here and two dots over here. So let's do the brown again. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm nowhere near over the top of this layer and it's working just fine. It's really so pretty. Can you tell how super excited I am about it? All right, so this time I'm lining up these two dots. If I got over the top, I could be perfectly lined up, but I'm not perfectly lined up. And look, it just continues out. It is so cool. I didn't press my stamp all the way down. I'm way too excited. Let me fix that. I'm way too excited. Let's get a good press over there. Much, much better. Now you see the whole thing. But that's how it works. And I could not be happier. It took a lot of work. I want to let you know, this probably looks like it was nothing. But because we wanted to be able to do a full page of stamping and we want it to be able to continue in both directions, if you notice here how this pattern and this pattern kind of can nestle together, that's a lot more work than you think it is. It took us some time to get it just right. We didn't want it to be just a square piece of layered cheetah. We wanted you to be able to carry it off the page and make your page look seamless. So there you go, guys. I'm in love. I am absolutely in love. You're going to see this one a lot. I know you are. I've already thought of a bazillion ways I can use it. I want to show you these techniques that we learned today doing it. So you're going to see some videos of that. I think this is my absolute favorite. I just love the way that looks. But, and I want to do some more embossing and show you how to do it with the perfect pearls. So you're going to see those videos coming real soon. All right, guys. 
Thanks so much for uh, watching me today. Thanks for being a part of our club. And don't forget, any project you make using the stamp set, you want to go to our customer gallery at maymaymadeit.com and post a photo of it. It's all you got to do to be entered to win a $50 gift card, which we will announce next month when we do our next month stamp club reveal. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.